How do we Japanese people use onomatopoeia? Let's find out. What's up, Japan enthusiasts? Minasan konnichiwa. I'm Max. Welcome back to my channel where we dive into the world of Nihongo and Japanese culture. So today we are looking at onomatopoeia in Japanese. Well, specifically in this video, we are going to be looking at onomatopoeia for real sounds. The Japanese language is really, really rich in expression. So when we express sounds, we use onomatopoeia. In Japanese, it's onomatope. We use onomatope in a lot of different situations, like actually in daily conversations. And also, you will see a lot in manga. So because we use onomatopoeia, onomatope, in also in daily life situations, it's really important to know how to, you know, use the right onomatopoeia for the right sounds or the right situations. Also, it would be really, really nice for you to know onomatopoeia if you like manga and if you want to read it in Japanese. So in Japanese, you can express pretty much anything that exists with onomatopoeia. In this video, like I said, we're going to be looking at the real sounds onomatopoeia. So let's get into it. All right, so I have like 20 onomatopoeia that I want to show you today in this video. And the first one is kon kon, kon kon, kon kon. All right, so kon kon is like a clear light sound when something hits a hard surface, but something small hits a hard surface like kon kon a little bit. It's like a light clear sound. We use kon kon a lot when we want to say knock knock. Knock knock is Kong Kong. And as you can see here, onomatopoeia is usually, usually written with katakana. So as you can see, we tend to use katakana for onomatopoeia, but you can also use hiragana too. But hiragana has more like a softer feeling when you use it for onomatopoeia. So you can use Kong Kong in hiragana too, but if you write it with hiragana, it has a a softer like milder like kinder feeling to it but if you write it with katakana it has more of a sharpness like more of a sharp feeling and the next one is gong gong so gong is the sound that we use when we want to express the heavy thing hitting something heavy and also if you repeat gong like twice like gong 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 is kind of like the heavier or harder version of kong kong too so kong kong was a clear light sound hitting the hard surface but gong gong is the heavy sound hitting the hard surface if you knock knock the door kong kong that's kong 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 but if you knock the door like gong gong that's gong gong all right moving on to the next one pom 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 is more like a really soft uh, touch soft sound and compared to kong kong pom pom is like a soft sound like when something is hitting something soft so something soft hitting something soft softly that's pom pom when you wanna tap at somebody's head like oh then that's pom 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 if you use hiragana that sounds or that looks cuter than using katakana for pom pom so yeah that's pom pom and by the way those fluffy things that cheerleaders have they are called pom pom and the next one is ton 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 so pom pom was actually soft and like kind of like a flat thing hitting the soft thing but ton ton is like more of a pointy touch pointy hit to a soft surface with a soft thing. Ton ton, like tap at somebody's shoulder, like ton ton. That's ton ton. The difference between pom pom and ton ton is pom pom is more of a palm using sound, like pom pom using a palm, like flat surface to a soft surface. But ton ton is more like something pointy or something with a little little surface hitting something soft ton ton and that leads to the next one don don so don don is the heavier 
version of Don Don. Stomping on the floor like Don 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 Don. That's Don Don. Don Don. It's basically like stomping on something heavily. So it's a heavy sound. Maybe you might have already noticed, but if you wanna make the onomatopoeia look heavier or make it sound heavier, then you usually use this dot dot ten ten. Even when you say it out loud, it sounds heavier, right? Kong kong versus gong gong and ton ton versus don don, right? So I guess that makes sense. And by the way, I have this book about onomatopoeia. Oh, this is not written by me. I bought it at a bookstore, but this has a bunch of onomatopoeia written and it even has like English translation to it. I put the link in the in the description, so check it out. It's an Amazon link, so it's an affiliate link. So if you buy from my link, then that's gonna help me a lot. So if you wanna um, read more about onomatopoeia, you can totally check this out. Let's get back to the video. All right, next one is patch patch, patch patch. Patch patch is the sound of clapping usually. Patch 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 patch. And it's also used for like electricity, like electric shocks, like patch patch. When you use a blanket, when you touch it, you get the shock, right? That's like patch sound. If you wanna make it heavier for electric shock, if it's so strong, then you can use patch, patch. Like I said, to make it heavier, just use this ten ten. And that's gonna lead to the next one, pang, pang, pang. Is like flat thing and flat thing hitting each other to make this sound. So it kind of sounds like clap, right? Clap, clap. It's not really like a clap, but it's more like something flat hitting something flat to make the slap sound. So pang basically is a slap sound. So I showed you pang, slap sound, right? And if you double it, pang, pang, that's two slaps. Pam pam, two slaps. So you sit on the ground and it's sandy and you wanna, you know, get the dust off, then that's pam pam. And you get the dust off with that sound, pam pam onomatopoeia. Again, if you wanna make the sound heavier, so pam pam is just a light slap. But if you wanna make the sound like actually slapping pretty hard, then that's bam bam. So this is bam bam. So now you get the hang of like, making a light sound and a heavier sound, right? All right, so the next one is a little bit tricky, but gasa goso, gasa goso. So gasa goso is a sound made when a thin and tense objects um, scrub each other or touch each other to make the sound of moving around with each other. Well, it's really hard to explain. We use gasa goso mainly when we go into our backpack or bags to try to find something. <laughs> That's gasa goso, gasa goso. So in a situation like you're looking for something in your bag and then you're doing gasa goso sagashiteru. Gasa goso nani ka o sagashiteru. That is gasa goso. So I think we looked at um, 10 onomatopoeia so far in this video. So we are halfway through. Maybe you've noticed that all these onomatopoeia were handwritten by me. So I do calligraphy. I really enjoy calligraphy and I have shoto art products on Redbubble, so if you want to get any of these onomatopoeia, like your favorite onomatopoeia on your mugs, on your t-shirt, on your hat, on your phone, then please check out Redbubble and look through all my Shoto Art products. Thank you. And we're gonna go back to the video really soon now. Hmm. All right, so the next onomatopoeia that I want to show you is Kachi Kachi. Kachi Kachi. Kachi Kachi is like a is the sound of clicking sounds like kach, 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 kach. when you use a mouse for the computer then it's also click click kach, 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 kach. and moving on to the next one it's kotsun. Kotsun. kotsun is like something small like small object like a little little stone hitting something really softly kotsun. if somebody throws a little stone at you and it hits your head, 
that's cotton something hard and small hitting something sharply and that's a, just a little hit little impact you know once you get the hang of onomatopoeia you will start seeing katakana everywhere around you like oh that's kotsun oh that's gong you will start seeing onomatopoeia in your world and the next one is gotsun so gotsun is basically a yes heavier version of kotsun so you're walking and you are not looking ahead and you hit your head on a tree or something so that's heavy thing hitting heavy thing gotsun when you hit your head with somebody's head that's also gotsun if it's heavy if it's just a light touch that's gotsun so it's just the difference between the heaviness the lightness of the impact and the next one is used a lot in maybe fighting manga so like naruto there's this thing baki boki baki boki baki boki is a cracking sound but like a bones cracking it's baki boki so baki is more like a thinner object like long and thin object snapping boki is a little more uh, i would say thicker little thicker objects snapping so this in this scene in naruto is is in the body and i think the bones are cracking so it's baki boki you will see it a lot in a lot of different mangas ex um, including Naruto. So we are finally down to the last five onomatopoeia that I want to show you in this video. And so the next one is kasha. Kasha. Kasha is actually a specific sound that we use when we take pictures. That's the sound. That's the onomatopoeia. Kasha. Kasha. When you take a picture, you can say hi cheese. Kasha. Or if you are imitating to take a picture, that's the sound for taking photos with your camera. All right, the next one is Padding. Padding. Padding is basically a glass shattering. If you drop a plate, glass made of glass, and if it falls onto the floor and if it shatters, then that's Padding. And of course, there's Padding. Padding is more of a heavier sound of glass shattering right so for example if you're playing baseball in a, in a park and you hit a home run and the ball hits a window of some of somebody's house and if it breaks the window then that's padding so padding glass shattering padding also glass shattering but heavier all right so we have three more to go and the next one is chatting chatting Charin, charin. Charin, charin is a high pitched ringing sound when like metal objects hit or touch each other well, several times. Charin, charin. Coins, for example, we use charin, charin for coins a lot. If the coins are touching each other, hitting each other, and making the charin, charin sound, that's charin, charin. You can also use charin, charin for bells on the bikes, bicycles. When you ring the bells, Charin 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 And in Osaka, where I live, well in Kansai area, we call bicycles actually chari. And the word chari is coming from the onomatopoeia of the ringing the bell on bicycles. So we call jitensha chari in Kansai. And the next one is related to charin charin. Next one is jara jara. Jara jara. Jara jara is like a lot of coins or a lot of metal objects or a lot of hard objects hitting each other a lot. My keys here, if you shake it, it makes a sound of jara jara, jara jara. A bunch of coins in your pocket and you walk around and it makes the sound of metal hitting each other sound. That's jara jara. Well now it's getting pretty dark but it's gonna be the last one in this video. Pota pota. Pota, 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 pota is a water dripping sound. A drop of water falls onto a surface and it splashes on the surface softly. That's pota. And if it keeps coming, it's pota, 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 pota. And of course, of course, if it's a big drip of water fast and strongly, then that's pota, 
bota, bota. You see this a lot in fighting manga again because you know blood dripping onto the ground. That's bota, bota, bota. All right, so that's it for today's video. And there are so many more onomatopoeia that I want to show you, but there are way too many, and you can also make up your own onomatopoeia using hiragana and katakana, and that's what a lot of manga artists do. So, well, like counters, <laughs> we have too many onomatopoeias to show. So, I'm thinking about making a series of videos about onomatopoeia. So, this video was about real sounds onomatopoeia. I'm thinking about making videos about emotion onomatopoeia, situation onomatopoeia, or movements onomatopoeia. So please stay tuned. And if you like this video, please hit the like and leave a comment below if you knew any of the onomatopoeia that I showed you in this video, or if you know any other onomatopoeia that I didn't show you in this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Max Japanese, please subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.